Okay, so I just got me a new 128 gig micro SD card. I got this for one of my security cameras. Um, and I want to talk about why you need to test these before you rely on them for anything important. On my first security camera, I uh, bought a 128 gig SanDisk micro SD card, tried to format it, was having all kinds of issues. Um, I could get it formatted, but whenever I put it in the security camera, it would never uh, initialize it. And was able, it was never, never able to initialize it to its format and be able to utilize it. So I started doing some digging, did some tests, come up with this program right here. Fake flash test. This is version 112. And as you can see, whenever I tried to do the quick size test, which is a destructive test, which does mean if you have anything on that SD card, it's going to be wiped out. You have to format these after you're done with them with this program. But as you can see, right error. Um, initially, when I first did the test, it reported this card as only having 28 gigabytes of usable space. I'm pretty confident. I'm going to take this out and let you see it because, I mean, they are copying these. Hopefully that'll focus. They're copying these to the T. This one ended up being fake. I'm pretty confident. I think it was a 32 gig card that they hacked the firmware with uh, on it, making it indicate 128 gig. It actually came in packaging, looked real similar to this. So there, to the to the you know novice user, there's no way you're going to see this. And if you were to put it in something like a, like a camera or a phone, and thought you was going to be copying important data to it that you was going to be able to retrieve, you're going to be highly upset that whenever you go to retrieve it, it's corrupt or it's not all there. So anytime you buy one of these or even a thumb drive and you're going to rely on these for anything important, this is a free download. Fake flash test. Do a search, download it, run the test. I'm going to run the test on this new one. And I'm pretty confident this is a legit memory card. I got it from the same place that I got the second one that I ordered after this one. And it formatted right, it tested good. I put it in my first security camera, it initialized right off the bat and everything was good. So we're about to do this one and I'll show you how it should work hopefully with this one. So let me get this cut out of here and uh, I'll get it installed in the uh, uh, card reader and we'll go from there. Okay. So this is a 128 gig SanDisk Ultra SD card. Ended up being fake. It was actually only a 32 gig card. The same guy that I bought this with from refunded my money and he sent me this one for free out of the goodness of his heart. So whenever I tested this one, it failed. So this one's also worthless. So both these cards ended up being either fake or just bad. I'm pretty sure this one's just plain flat fake because it actually reported 32 gigs worth of usable space on it, not 128 gig. This is the new one that we're about to test and we'll see how it comes back and uh, how it says. This is from a reputable dealer on Amazon. Now you can get fake ones. Uh, this, uh, 
I'll take that back. Both these were from an eBay dealer. This one is from Amazon, but I have read that many people have gotten fake ones off Amazon, so you gotta be careful there too. So just put the new 128 gig in. <clears throat> so all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna refresh drive list. It does come back, it says 119 gig. I'm gonna do the quick size test, which is destructive, meaning if there's any usable data, um, there's the warning. The card's gonna it, it's gonna wipe everything uh, off the card. Okay, so there that's what it looks like when it's going through its check. This is pretty quick. Now it's verifying it, reading back the blocks. Okay. If this test comes back past, more than likely your disk is good. But to be 100% sure, you need to download this other free program H2 test W for a thorough test. The problem with that test is it takes forever. I go ahead and just use this and I'm fine with that. If it comes back and says pass, uh, I go with it. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, I'm gonna reformat this card, put it in the camera, and I'm gonna go about my business. You can also use a uh, there's another option there called test empty space. Um, it's a slower test, but it actually uh, does another different type of test on the card to verify that it's good. But uh, I normally don't do that. I just do the quick size test and that's what I go with now. Uh, the two fake ones, these two right here, would not pass that test the quick size test. They would not pass that test. So I'm pretty confident that if you if you get a memory card and you do the quick size test, if it passes, you're probably going to be good. So again, if you are going to rely on something with these memory cards, make sure that you do the test and make sure you can actually rely on them.